super activated day in the land of the living. I'm Justin David and this is Let's Talk Beats. Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time on our channel, thanks for stopping by to see what we're working on. If this is not your first time on the channel, I'm glad that you came back. And today, take some time to like, share, and subscribe so you can get more videos like this. What we're going to do is we're going to show you how to add metadata to your audio files. With that said, let's get right into the video. On the screen we have two windows and in one window we have our finder and then we have a software that's called tag editor it's a free software you can just google that and look it up you can't pay for it what we like to use the free version and this is how we get our metadata into our actual audio files so if we send a song to somebody or we just share it out we like to be able to have those files have our metadata into it and you can find the metadata in the finder on Mac where it will tell you when it was created, when it was modified, it'll tell you the title, it'll tell you the duration, it'll tell you the authors, the audio channels, the sample rate, the bit per sample, the album, the musical genre, who the composer is, and any comments that you wanna add to that. So the way we get that information into the audio file is we use Tag Editor. And Tag Editor is pretty useful. So we have a song that we're gonna upload today and we wanna make sure that our metadata is there first. So what we'll do is we'll just drag our files over. We'll give it some time for it to load because it's gonna have to prepare. We theorize that if we had to pay for a version, it wouldn't take as long. But since we only have the free version, it takes a little bit more time and that's okay because it gives us the opportunity to be patient. So now we have that first audio file loaded in put the second one and this will give us the metadata for our waves and for our mp3s and then we'll add this file in and we'll go to our mp3s and we also use the tag editor to put the metadata into our sample packs so we'll go to the five tags we'll add that we'll let that load then we'll add in one tag the note tag and the sample file we're not going to speed any of this up because this is just part of the process and this is our method so we like to take our time so to add the one tag and after that we'll add the sample file we are not going to display in this video adding the metadata to the sample packs we'll do a different video for that because the process is a little bit different so we'll just load this one in and this will be our sample file and we like this software it, it works out so now that we have all of our files in here we have all of these different sections and we want to be able to have that information be inside of our actual file before we go let's just make sure we get the proper tempo okay so let's minimize this so we'll just go from this section here we'll hold down shift we'll put the year this is going to be track 39 inside of our beat store our goal is to get 50 before the end of the year so the album artist we'll just copy that select that section paste it we know this is 82 beats per minute okay and then we'll select that who it's encoded by all of this information is important and we want to have that information there we will not update the file name right now we can add the comments right now each section we can identify our genre where we just call it rare beats so now here we go here so we'll just copy this we'll add that there but the name of the song is different so we'll change that and we'll just copy that again place that here we know that this is one tag we'll make that distinction then we'll paste this here and we know that this is no tag so now we can copy and we can paste those this one tag we did not put the no tag of the mp3 let's just add that in now just take our time and this gives us all of that information into our audio files which is important when you're sharing and sending out music especially if you want to have this in the file so say when you upload it to whomever your distributor is when you upload those files to the distributor you can manually go in and put that information in but i think it is a benefit and it's very useful to have that information in the actual file go ahead and add that there are no tags and let's just add this here and then we'll call it sample file we'll add that there now that's nice we can select the artist but let's talk beats album this is going to be rare beats three add that there and we'll add that there we'll copy here since we added one more file we have to go back and add 
that and something we like about this you can select across columns and it will paste that information there just like so this is 39 okay now we'll go back to the beginning and we'll take the artwork and the composer we think it's important to put your real name not just your performance name or your company's name put your actual name because when you start working with performance rights organizations digital rights organizations you're going to be using your real name or a variation of your real name to be able to have your music be identified as something that you created now the last step that we'll do is we'll select all of these and then you're going to want to click these three dots there and when you click those three dots there you want to hit rename that now then will give all that information that we plugged in and then it will then sit and fit right there nicely now the final step is you want to be able to save this so this takes a little bit of time it is not a very fast process but you just be patient since this is the free version we're going to click close if you click continue it will take you to actually sub to pay for the subscription it's a dollar 99 a month it's not that much it's, it's it's fairly cheap but we just like using the free variety so now the next screen will pop up that will actually save that information to the file so we'll click ok and it's going to do that for each one of the files that we updated the metadata for Right now it's going through the waves and then after it finishes with the waves it will do the same for our mp3s and we'll rename them just click ok just to get through this process click ok now now that's done so what we'll notice is when we click on the actual file all of that information that we just uploaded into the tag editor is now actually on the file itself and this is how we put our metadata into our audio files before we upload them to any of the platforms. If you made it to this part of the video, thanks a ton. If you learned something today that you didn't know yesterday, also thanks a ton. May this reach you up, happy, and healthy in the land of the living. Much love, respect, and peace in.